And welcome back, this is Baller Scoopa with more Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I'm joined as always by the seemingly confused Mariah Shepard. When we last left off, we got ourselves a ship. Let's explore the hell out of it before we go and talk to Joker, who I think is what we wanted to do. Uh, well, that's what we wanted to do, at least. Let's talk to the EDI. This, this area of the ship. Really? This is the Combat Information Center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. I have tried to fix a couple settings. Uh, as you can see, the shadows are still just plain weird. I'm standing directly in front of a light source and nothing. Uh, I went ahead and disabled a couple of the shadow settings, hoping that that would help with just the darkness of, of a few of the cutscenes. I also increased the volume, especially of the dialogue, hoping that that helps increase the sound. Once again, mostly during cutscenes. Uh, so we do have the EDI. Do we have anything more to say to EDI? What's this area? Nope. All right, let's this do something the else then. Information center. We have a private Here, terminal. The crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. She's still going. Not very intelligent if you're going to keep talking as as soon as I walk away. All right, so we have a private terminal here. We have team status. Let's take a look at that. We have quite a few uh, slots here. Uh, is one of those like empty? Can I, I can't click there. And I can't click over here. I don't know what that means, but uh, we do have Jacob and we do have Miranda. We have info on them. Uh, Miranda is normally loyal. Uh, she has overload warp, and I assume that means she's on her way to learning slam, but she doesn't have it yet. Uh, she, has, she can use submachine guns and heavy pistols. Jacob, also normally loyal. He has pull incendiary ammo, and maybe he will learn barrier at some point. Heavy pistols and shotguns are what he uses. Do you have any info on this? Oh, we have uh, the dossiers here. Of the dossiers for all of the characters that we can get. Well, at least so far. Let's take a look at upgrades. About upgrades. Upgrades improve your squad members' powers, your weapons, and your ship, making mission success more likely. Acquire new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores, or research them using a research terminal. Apparently, I don't have any upgrades yet. What? We just started. How do I not have upgrades? Apparently, I have a whole ton of messages to go over. All right, so we have a message from Anderson. Uh, since I am told by uh, Teddy Borogina that I actually uh, chose him to be put in charge this time because it didn't actually import from the previous save, but we did in the previous save anyway. Uh, Counselor Anderson says, on the off chance that the rumors are true and you are actually alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on top, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. We have lost contact on with a survey ship. I have a feeling that all the rest of this is going to be DLC. It looks like it to me. All right, so we have a message from Project Firewalker. Lost contact with survey ship. Commander, the MSV Rosalie, a survey ship with Cerberus connections, has gone missing. The survey team was field testing a new prototype, the Hammerhead Planet Side Exploration Rover. In addition, scientists Dr. Manuel Case and Robert O'Loy are aboard the MSV Rosalie and conducting research for us. We need you to find the ship, her survey team, and the doctors. The MSV Rosalie, I don't know, I have a hard time saying that. MSV Rosalie was last seen near planet Ziona in Alista in the Ismar frontier. The Normandy crash site. This is from Admiral Hackett, Commander Shepard. Our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see, the final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. I got a better one now, though, I think. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report to the Alliance so that those heroes' families might find some closure. Godspeed to you, Commander. 
Yeah, let's go find some dead bodies, apparently. I have no faith that they might be alive. All right, Cerberus Assault Armor. This is from the Elusive Man. I don't have a Martin Sheen impression. Uh, Shepard, our armor technicians heard you were back in action and insisted that you be should be appropriately equipped. They put together a package that I had delivered to the Normandy. You'll find it in your personal quarters. Fortunately, we know your size. That's a little creepy. Shepard, our armor technicians found a high-performance suit for you that was manufactured in the Terminus systems. That is to say, it isn't exactly legal in Citadel space. It's been delivered to your quarters so you can try it on. Hope you like the color. It was dark from what I remember. Does that mean that if I wear this, I can't go to the Citadel or I'll be arrested? I seriously doubt it, but that's what he makes it sound like. Collector rifle in armor? Our researchers have been working with captured collector technology for some time now. They've developed an experimental armor suit in your size and an assault rifle that the text say should take a standard thermal clip. I had the items delivered to the Normandy's armor. Armory. Good hunting. I've had a night vision device delivered to the Normandy. The text says it helps put biotic and omni tool attacks on target and rather than listen to their explanation of how, I just sent it your way. It'll be in your quarters. Here, take this off my hands. I don't understand the technical explanation. Recon Hood. It occurred to our armor technicians that you may not want to show your face everywhere you go. They sent by a hood that Cerberus issues to its covert operatives. It has additional microframe functions that you may like. The hood is in your quarters. Sentry Interface Visor. Our software experts looked over your loadout telemetry and they had a recommendation. A visor with onboard processors that manages your armor's shield strength. I've sent the visor to the Normandy. It will be in your quarters. Blood Dragon Armor. Jacob tells me you've been keeping an eye out for cutting edge supplies, weapons, armor, amps, and so forth. It so happens that I had something waiting for you when you awoke in the Lazarus Research Station. It was lost in the chaos, but found again when Cerberus secured the station. I had it delivered to the Normandy. Look in the armor closet in your quarters. It'll be hard to miss because it's not from this franchise. Overlord. One of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology, and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized, enough that I can't divulge uh, operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet Aite, Aite? Typhon system in the Phoenix massing cluster. Please use care in this matter. We have the arc projector. We recently had an incident involving the Geth at one of our outposts in the Skillian Verge. Don't worry, I'm not sending you off to chase anything down. Our operatives waged a highly successful battle against a Geth scouting party and credited their success to a new advanced electrical attack device that we finally let them take out of the lab. Since their unit is being reassigned for some rest and relaxation, I thought you should take custody of the weapon in the meantime. The weapon is called an arc projector. I sent it to the Normandy's armory so you can examine it for yourself and use it if you deem more doom it worthy. It's gone through plenty of tests that indicate it overloads kinetic barriers and synthetic enemies particularly well, but laboratory demonstrations are a poor substitute for actual field reports. We know it works, now we want to see what it can do in the right hands. If all goes well, we'll use your tactics and train other operatives. And we have rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. At great cost and effort, we had tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She is unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Zakara Ward on the Citadel. There you'll find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual, and put the password silences golden to begin the rendezvous. Hopefully I remember that. Archived messages... Uh, that's where, apparently, I don't have anything there. Am I supposed to, like, archive this? All right, we'll, we'll archive most of this then. Um, we can send Anderson back. I'm going to go to the Citadel eventually, no matter what. Uh, the armor stuff can go away. All that can go away. I do not care about that. We saw it, but it's not something that I particularly care about going to stick with the standard stuff. It feels weird to use DLC stuff at the beginning of the game. All right, so we have advanced combat training. Watch Cerberus training videos on advanced combat tactics. Is this like a real thing? It is. All right, squad command. Uh, we'll see if this is interesting. If not, I'll cut it out. So watch a training video on tactical use of pausing during combat. Oh, Bioware, I am 
completely familiar with pausing during combat in one of your games. Yeah, we're going to cut that one out. Uh, it was not that long, but it was essentially telling me uh, what I already figured out. Uh, which is I can pause it with left shift, tell people to do stuff, and then release left shift, and then they do it. So, thank you. Uh, watch a training video on personal and squad power usage. Hopefully there's something new in here. Yeah, I'm familiar with how to do that, thanks to Dragon Age Origins. <laughs> yeah, I thought these were supposed to be advanced combat training videos. This one is... Everything so far has been pretty, pretty basic, so I'm going to cut them out simply because they're not teaching me anything new. All right, real-time control. This sounds important. To use powers in real time, drag and drop them to the HUD and assign them to the number keys. You can map your squad members' powers in the same way. Press Q and E to order your henchmen to attack, move to cover, or take a position. Hitting C while in this mode will rally your squad members to you. For maximum tactical effectiveness, Use squad member powers and your own in combination. Okay, that was stuff that I didn't know, so I'm leaving that one in. Yeah, everything else I had figured out by this point. I already died twice. I could have used this a little bit earlier. But uh, the real-time control, that was pretty good. Uh, actually using your squad with real-time and saying hotkeys. Thank you for that. That is actually going to be useful for me. All right. I got another codex entry? I also got an achievement for watching things. I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. So we got more codex out of this. All right. Cerberus Project Overload, Overlord. Did I get this for reading? Uh, okay. Yeah, I got it for the email that I got or whatever the message is officially called. Uh, this is about the planet Aite. Two beautiful moons, one spectacular ring, zero neighbors, says a popular advertisement for this Terminus Systems world. Aite is known for its sparsely settled population, despite being a garden planet with a colony nearly a century old. Blessed with a mild climate, wildlife no more dangerous than that on Earth, and soil and bacteria amenable to imported plants, Aite would appear to be an unexploited paradise. However, it is unpopular for two reasons. The first and most obvious is that its moon, Lite, is in an un unstable orbit that will lead to a planetary impact and an extinction level event within the next two centuries. As such, all investment in the planet is short term, and the biggest business is selling off the local biota to the highest bidder. I assume they mean like flora. The second drawback is the level of violence on the planet. Like the rest of the Phoenix massing cluster, Aite it was briefly considered part of Citadel space during its first wave of colonization. However, when the colony broke off to become an independent planet in 2133, the council let the doomed planet go with less than a day of debate. Free from any real governing body, Aite's history has since been filled with wars between small frontier town city-states over its resources. The result is a dangerous world where the average citizen is expected to be self-reliant to the point of fending for themselves against cutthroat corporations, strong-arm militia groups, and even geth incursions. The fighting is so frequent that the name of the planet itself has changed more than 11 times. In a sign of blunt indifference, standard Citadel galaxy maps refer to the world by the name given to it by human colonists in the latter half of the century. They just don't care. So is that it? That's the only new one I got? I thought there were two. There are two. We got a new primary one. Is this going to be about the same planet? A political economic pact for collective colonial security. The Alliance is the central galactic institution of human society. The Alliance gained associate membership to the Citadel Council in 2165 and assumed leadership in 2183, with former Alliance Captain David Anderson presiding. Many species regard humanity as a rogue race, and its 2183 victory following the attack on Eden Prime as a brutal and calculated sacrifice of its military rivals. Humans allegedly leveraged military victory into a political one, carving associate membership out of the violently depopulated council. Because of the human specter Shepard's pivotal role in saving the council, many analysts conclude several humans will be made candidates for specter status, further solidifying the human contribution to galactic peace. By achieving in decades what others waited centuries to receive, 
especially after so bloody a conflict, humans have guaranteed themselves deep hostility and fear throughout the galaxy. Why does it look like I caught him doing something wrong right there? I, what is that look? But anyway, yes, the, the human diplomatic relations are a little strained now that I'm, well, I put everybody in charge. We're in charge now. I'm in charge, maybe, except I answer to people. All right, more things in the journal. Overlord has been added. So we have a server station on the planet. Ayute Typhon system, Phoenix massing, has gone off the grid. The elusive man has requested assistance investigating the situation. Travel to the planet Ayute Typhon system, Phoenix massing, and investigate why the Cerberus base there has gone silent. So I don't know if I want to take on any of these right now. Uh, I feel like I should probably get people before I consider doing anything else. Although I probably am going to want to take care of some, well, side quests, things that they did not tell me to do. Just kind of random exploration first, Yeoman. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. Oh. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Oh, apparently the pleasure is mine. I haven't had an administrative assistant before. Take my call. Dictated, not read. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I can why? No, fine, sure, I'll call you Kelly. Okay, Kelly. All right, let's, else? let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I don't know, just the way she said that. All right, let's investigate. Uh, what exactly do you do? What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. What is it you say you do around here? Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Oh, sweet. You're a counselor? Are you also empathic? Oh, can you be Troy for me? I mean, wait, she was in the first game, wasn't she? No, you're a counselor? You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. <laughs> Keep your distance. Let's not be combative to, the, to my assistant. Fine, it's good you're here. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? All right, you can call me Mariah. So could the guy doing the primary codex entries, but I don't think they have that programmed in. All right, so what do you think of Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. So do they hate aliens? Because I'm not seeing a lot of them on board the ship so far. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Not what Cerberus I thought. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats, too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. Screw the Krogan, though. All right, uh, what else do we have? Uh, are you happy here? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Yes, I can see all those emotions in your face. Uh, we won't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. <sighs> I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. Um... Wow, I didn't even see my options. Now I did. Okay, I'd embrace you, I'd catch you, I'd drop you. Oh, God, do I want to start flirting again? Let's start flirting again. 
I'd embrace you, baby. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? <laughs> Don't change the subject. Ah, oh, I think that's it. All right, I think we're done here. I better go. Okay, maybe we'll talk later. For the record, she started flirting with me, and then the game... What the hell's wrong with your shoulder? And then the game did it back. Yeah, for whatever reason, shout out there, fine, shout... Weird. Just weird. Can I not go into the tech labs? A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. I don't even have access to the, all the parts of my ship yet. I'm not liking the sounds of that. We're gonna have to find ourselves a scientist then. Simply because I don't like not having access to parts of my ship. Uh, all right, EDI. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. All right, what do we got? Shepard first, the important people first. All right, so I have three options for the M100 grenade launcher. Apparently with the pistols, there's nothing I can do. We have the M4 Shuriken machine pistol, a common but effective submachine gun fires three round bursts and can be pulsed for a higher rate of fire at the expense of accuracy. Very effective against shields and biotic barriers. As kinetic barriers have grown in popularity, so has the popularity of submachine guns. Manufactured by the Elcos Combine, the Shuriken machine pistol has a reputation for being deadly and easy to use, but is weak against armor. Here's probably something that's good against armor. Reliable, accurate sidearm is the M3 Predator Heavy Pistol. Effective against armor, weak against shields and biotic barriers. Manufactured by Elanis Risk Control, the Predator is valued as a powerful, deadly, and relatively inexpensive weapon, while it's generally deployed in the mili not generally deployed in the military, where kinetic barriers are common. It's still very popular in the Terminus systems, where these defenses are less common. So I'm gonna try to keep that in mind. Pretty much armor, heavy pistol, everything else, machine gun pistol.